Once upon a time, there was a poor widow who lived with her son. Her son Jack did not work because he was a very lazy young man. That was why they almost had no money. Mom, is there anything to eat? I'm hungry. Each passing day, they had become poorer and poorer, until they had come to a point where they had to sell their cow, Milk White, because they could no longer feed her. Jack's mother told him to bring the cow to the marketplace and sell it for the best price he could get. Maybe then they could buy some food to eat. On his way to the market. Jack came across a somewhat weird-looking old man. The old man had a look at the cow and turned to Jack and said, "Hi, my boy. If you give me this cow, I will give you very valuable things in return." Jack was very happy to hear this. The old man took out five beans from his pocket. Beans? But these are magic beans. Jack, of course, did not believe him at first. But the old man insisted. Look, young man, you seem like a good and bright kid. Take these magic beans; you won't regret it. Trust me. Jack believed the old man and gave him milk white in return for the magic beans. Happy with the exchange he had made, Jack ran home. Ma, look what I've got! Seeing Jack running to her so excited, his mother thought that he had sold the cow for a lot of money. But then, when Jack showed her the magic beans, his mum was pretty cross. She threw the magic beans into the garden and sent Jack to his room. You were grounded in your room until I tell you to come out, and no dinner for you tonight. In the morning, Jack looked out the window, and he could not believe his eyes. From his bedroom window, he could see a stork growing up really fast. This was neither a tree or a giant flower. This was a magic beanstalk. Jack jumped on the giant beanstalk from his window, using the leaves and the twisty vines like the rungs of a ladder. He started to climb up the beanstalk. After a while, he found himself in a weird place where everything was much bigger than normal. He saw a path full of flowers and a very big house at the end of it. Jack came to the house and knocked on the door. A lady giant answered. Uh, well, I was going to ask if you had something to eat. Yes, I do. But you must disappear before my husband gets back, because he loves the taste of young children, and so he eats them up. Jack, of course, was a bit frightened, but also he was very hungry. Just as he was sitting at the table to have a bite, he heard someone talking outside with a deep voice. Fifty foes. I smell a child with my nose, raw or cooked. I don't mind. I can't get enough of those. The woman called out to Jack. Hide in the oven right this moment, my child. Jack hid in the oven at once. The giant went into the kitchen and started to sniff around. I can smell children. What are you talking about, dear? You're probably smelling the meat I've given the cats yesterday. After he had finished his dinner, the giant started to count his gold.
After a short while, he was tired from counting the gold, and so he fell asleep. Jack came out of the oven and took a bag of gold. He threw the bag right under his magic beanstalk. Then off he went down holding onto the beanstalk. He found the bag of gold he threw down and ran home right away. When Jack's mother saw the gold, she was very happy. From that day on, there would be no more poverty or hunger for them. But after a few months had passed by, all the gold they had finished. With no other option, Jack climbed up the beanstalk and went to the house of the giants. The giant's wife was somewhat a little suspicious of him this time. Last time you were here, we lost a bag of gold. But still she pitied the young boy and invited him in. Not long after, the giant came home. Fifty fo foes, I smell a child with my nose. Raw or cooked, I don't mind. I can't get enough of those. Hearing the giant's song, Jack jumped into the oven once again. After finishing his dinner, the giant asked his wife to bring his chicken. When his wife bought the chicken, he ordered the chicken to lay an egg. Leaving Jack fully surprised, the chicken laid a golden egg. And when the giant went to his room to rest, Jack came out of the oven and took the chicken and rushed down the beanstalk. Thanks to the golden egg, Jack and his mother were rich once again. But after some time had passed, Jack decided to try his luck once again and started to climb up the magic beanstalk. This time he went into the house without being seen by the wife and hid in a big copper pot. Some time later the giant came home. Fifty fo foes. I smell a child with my nose, raw or cooked. I don't mind, I can't get enough of those. This time the giant's wife decided she wanted Jack caught. If there is a child around here, then it should be in the oven. Of course Jack had hid somewhere else this time. The giant and his wife were determined to find the child, but although they searched everywhere in the house, they just could not find him. After their dinner, the giant put a golden harp on the table, and so he ordered play. Playing lullabies, the harp put the giant to sleep. At that moment, Jack knew that he wanted this harp more than anything else in the world. In order to do so, he climbed up the sleeping giant's knee, jumped on the table and to the harp. Something really unexpected happened. Help! The harp yelled. Jack jumped down the table with the harp on his back. The giant woke up and started to run after him. Jack started to slide down the beanstalk as fast as he could and the giant followed. When he reached home, Jack called to his mother. Mom, quick, bring me an axe. They both started to cut down the beanstalk. And finally, the beanstalk, and of course the giant, bound down on the ground with a big noise. They were safe from the giant. Oh good, we're safe. They were safe all right, 
But Jack was very regretful of all the things he had done. He almost lost his life because of his greed. He promised his mother that he would never ever steal from anyone again and that he would work really hard from now on. From that day on, Jack and his mother were never poor again. Yes, they did have the golden egg laying chicken to help, but Jack also never stopped working ever again.